yes or no, as a main author of Project 2025, are you aware of this fourth pillar playbook? Well, to, to be... Yes or no? To be clear, I'm here in my official capacity. Yes or no. So I don't want to have any confusion I'm reclaiming on that. my time. You are under oath, and I don't want you to filibuster. Yes or no, are you aware of this fourth pillar playbook? Okay, just, just so I can be clear, that writing that I did was in my personal capacity after getting the... Reclaiming my time, I didn't ask you that. Are you aware of the fourth pillar playbook, and can you detail, as you are under oath, what exactly it calls for? Uh, again, I've not seen this fourth pillar playbook that you're moving talking on, about. Moving on, moving on. I find it hard to, to believe but, that you no, no, don't but I'm happy know to talk about, the details I'm happy of this to talk about, 100. Well, please, you are about, under oath, and do not waste my or the public's time. I'm happy to talk about all of the policy ideas that I've talked about. I've talked about them in that context. I want I've talked to about talk them about the 100-day playbook, the fourth pillar. Can you offer any, can you elucidate us to that? Again, my... All right, I'm moving on, sir. You know, this would all be funny if it wasn't so devastating. At a time when the leader of the Republican Party is trying to claim that he has no connection whatsoever to Project 2025, an outright lie, another lie like the one that he spews daily about Haitian Americans in Springfield, Ohio. Again, the leader of the Republican Party is trying to claim that he has no connection whatsoever to Project 2025, an outright lie. Our Republican colleagues have invited four of the manifesto's architects to testify today. I'm over here. In a desperate attempt to erase all of the ways that the American public has benefited from the Biden-Harris administration, this committee has instead spotlighted what Project 2025 would offer, chaos and corruption. However, we would be ignoring a critical component of Project 2025 if we did not address the fact that its creators have been secretly peddling a, quote, 100-day playbook, unquote that contains executive orders and emergency actions to roll out in the first hours of a second Trump presidency. Instead of sharing this plan with the public, an indictment of your dangerous policy plans in and of itself, those behind Project 2025 claim it is too controversial to release. Ms. Guna Sakara, yes or no? As a main author of Project 2025, are you aware of this playbook or quote unquote fourth pillar. And remember you are under oath. Uh, yeah, and it's online on the website. Can you please detail what exactly it calls for? Um, I think you explained it pretty well. Um, it is a plan of action so that when Republicans um, and conservatives have another chance uh, at a next administration, um, there's not lost time and so that there is a plan ready to go. I don't know if that was specific enough. You are under oath. Can you please detail what exactly it calls for, this fourth pillar, this 180-day playbook? Please detail what it calls for. Again, I'd reiterate what I just said, that I think you summarized it quite well. Um, it includes a plan of action um, on day one so but that Republicans... you didn't Republicans say anything, and that's the problem. What is the plan of action? It's to institute a more conservative vision on um, things that the American people want because they're experiencing all of these hardships caused by the chaos and corruption of the Biden-Harris right, administration. I'm my time. I find it hard to believe that you don't know details of the 100-day playbook, but there's one person that definitely knows, Kevin Roberts, the president of the Heritage Foundation, and that is why he's co-founder of the Stop Project 2025 Task Force, alongside Representative Jared Huffman and dozens of our colleagues. We sent a letter to Mr. Roberts requesting he testify before Congress and release this 180-day playbook. We sent this letter on August 8th. The next day, he delayed his book launch, went into hiding. Kevin Roberts, what are you so afraid of? I am disappointed but unsurprised that the authors and leaders of Project 2025 are hiding their 180-day playbook. So today, 
Congressman Huffman and I are announcing a new fully confidential tip line. Any person can visit huffman.house.gov slash tip dash line dash form to submit any information you have about the secret playbook behind Project 2025. That goes for conservatives with a change of heart, workers at the Heritage Foundation, and our witnesses here today who will perhaps find more courage when the cameras are off. I yield.